Hello everyone, it's Kennedy. It's been a while since I've posted any video blogs featuring myself or promoting anything um, or just giving you the update on what's going on. Um, past few years have been crazy for me. Um, it went from really downhill to really uphill. Um, back in 2011, me, my fiance, and two dogs were homeless in LA. And a couple of times we slept on the streets behind buildings. At one time, I remember we slept behind a drive-through, a Burger King when they were closed, in a park. Um, even got some food out of a trash can and slept when we had the money. Slept in um, sleazy hotels. One had the floor coming out and the other had roaches in it but since then we have moved to Las Vegas we have our own apartment as you can see now and we're back on our feet so we both have good jobs that pay our bills but right now the bills only pay our bills and we just have a little bit of spending money so right now um, we don't have the money for the funds I need for some surgeries. And so that's why I'm asking you guys for your help. I've always been about helping others in their journey, either by doing seminars, um, going to conventions, um, sharing my life experiences, or even doing Training Talk 101. Uh, I've had a great time in the past doing that and opening my own life to inspire others but right now at this time I need others help and it's hard for me to ask and it's stubborn and maybe it was even hard for me to ask when I was homeless my family or to let anybody know and for a couple of years no one has even known that I was homeless I've kept it a secret and only the close people near me really know so um, this is the first time I'm breaking my silence because I need your help. Um, a few years before I became homeless, um, doctors had informed me that I should get off um, hormone replacement therapy because of medical reasons that um, cancer runs on both sides of my family rapidly. I had a grandmother who passed away from cancer and then another one who's in remission on the other side. So I stopped hormones and um, of course couldn't afford them if I did and uh, in the journey of that of course everything that I worked so hard for in the eight years that I, before that um, had uh, really just gone reverse. So as you can see I hate showing this because I usually hide it but my hairline is receding and it's getting thin and I even have some bald spots in here and um, a lot of people say it's col from you coloring your hair no when I color if I color this part of my hair I don't leave the color on long um, I'm very gentle on it I was a cosmetologist for a long time so I do know what I'm talking about. Um, as far as that, um, I found a doctor who will do all my surgeries for me and um, I will keep you updated on everything that I learned from him. But um, part, of, part one of my surgery fund will go to my hair being um, replaced. Also they will contour my forehead and they will um, give me an eyebrow lift. My second part of the surgery is, is when I first transitioned, one of the biggest things for me in my journey, I've always told a lot of people this, was getting my breast. To me, being pre-op is, is okay. I don't need to change what's down below, but what I needed to change in my journey was to feel complete as a woman was to have my breast. And um, I did it the wrong way. I had free flowing, free flowing silicone injected into my body, into my chest, and I went on five different treatments. 
I'm not saying that my silicone is bad and I'm not saying that I'm suffering from it right now but what I am saying is that I like the way my boobs look but the problem is I don't want to go down the road years later and something be affected because of the silicone in my body so the same doctor that's going to do my hair and my scalp is very specialized in taking out the silicone and replacing it with implants so um, with your help we can get this done and I would appreciate it and I will do whatever I can to um, thank you and if it's sending you a letter or sending you a picture or a card or whatever I will show you my gratitude many times and I will keep you updated as much as I can now the fundraising ends December 26th the day after Christmas so if you have anything that you can donate to the cause please visit the link below the video or the link that will pop up on the video and go check it out and help any way you can. I really appreciate it. I love you all. Thank you. Bye.